Hey guys, I'm Karim Birani from Mobi Scrub and I'm back with the top apps for the month of November 2017. Again, I'm going to talk about seven apps and you might like some, you might not. Let me know which ones you stick with eventually. The first one is Button Mapper. And this has really changed the way I use buttons on my phone or at least in the number of ways I can. Basically, I could add more utility to my buttons on the device, including the capacitive touch keys like back, home and recent apps. Double tapping my volume up button can light up the torch and a long press can take a screenshot or double tapping the volume down takes me to my most used WhatsApp group and so on. The app is called Button Mapper and using this you can remap the volume rocker buttons as well as the capacitive home, back and recent app keys if you have that on your phone. Now you can see that I can switch between a um, you know, couple of actions applications as well as shortcuts. So I can remap these buttons to do various things, including these really interesting shortcuts, you know, like one double tap can take me, uh, show me directions to a particular location. Now I have the S6 Edge over here and you can see that I can remap the home recent apps as well as the return key, just because I have those buttons on the phone. The next one is Air Console, which essentially converts your smartphone into a handheld game controller. It's pretty easy to set up as long as you have a fast internet connection and a good Wi-Fi setup on which all your devices are hooked. Now, you know, once you set up the entire thing, you'd see that there are a couple of games that are already there. It's quite extensive and categorized as games for single players, player versus another player, or even cooperative games where four friends can play together and have quite a bit of fun as long as all of you have smartphones with Air Console app installed. What's really amazing is that this is extremely responsive. I mean, there's absolutely no lag while I'm playing on the smartphone or every time, you know, I'm trying to select a game, go up, down, whatever it is, the response is, is, is amazingly quick. But I think the real fun will lie when all your friends get together and all of you use this app together to really play some, uh, you know, multiplayer games. And these games are really easy they're uh, they're absolutely not hard to play and i think that's what makes it fun and addictive you know there's not a whole lot of setup involved and it's just you know a bunch of people having fun together playing games the next app is edge mask and i'm going to urge pretty much all android smartphone users that have large displays to use this and give it a try this app gives your phone a beautiful edge lighting for various app notifications it's really cool and makes your notifications look gorgeous and you can really just see that for yourself. Now just open the app and enable the settings after providing the necessary permissions. There would be two colors set by default and the edge lighting would be activated by default. Go ahead and activate the edge lighting mixed color as well. And the lighting size can also be changed. You can increase it if you want thicker ones. You can set up edge lighting for some or all of your app notifications and give each app its own personal color uh, range. So for example, for Instagram, I've set up two colors. I enable the mixed lighting and you can see what really happened here. So go ahead and give this a try. The fourth one is Porta and it's a fairly simple app that lets you change any image into a nice art piece in pastel colors. It does remind me a bit of, a, of an app called Prisma, which added very artful prismatic effects to your image. But this one feels a bit more candid, natural and different at the same time. So something that's unique and I think it can do its own round of, uh, you know, social media highlights for now. So go ahead and, you know, you can really be different with this application right now. It's very new in the market. Not a lot of people are using it. And I think you'd really stand out uh, with, you know, using this application and coming up with some really beautiful pictures. Number five on the list is battery meter overlay, which is a sweet little trick to always have your battery show up in a slightly more unconventional and a unique way. Now I know we all have the battery indicator with percentage in the status bar, but there are two reasons why you might want to change that. First, it looks old, boring and you're too used to it. It takes up too much space in your status bar and makes it look cluttered. So just do away with it. And number two is that in some full screen apps, you can't see the battery indicator and the battery indicator overlay is always active and on top of all your apps. So you know, you might, I mean some of you might like it and some might find it ugly because it's a subjective thing, but for those who like it, just try it on. And there are quite a few options available in terms of colors. There's a white theme, AMOLED theme, and a dark theme. So go ahead. The second last app is called Another Widget. Uh, it basically gives you the same widget that the Pixel 2 has introduced on its home screen. The widget neatly displays the next meeting or event that you have on your list, the weather in your current location, and today's date and day. 
At first I thought it was a stupid thing to have on your home screen, but I realized how useful this is once I started using it. Now the widget is ready to use, but you can make some customizations if the need be. You can change the color of the text and choose to sync your choice of calendar. So of course you have a list that you can choose from and uh, unselect if you want. You can decide how far ahead in the future you want to see your event uh, you know, in that widget. If you're a very busy man, then you might want to set it to three hours later. And if you're as useless as I am, then maybe three days or 24 hours uh, would be good enough to give you that ego boost. The last one is called Launch Board, and it's essentially one of the most convenient and fastest ways to open an app, especially if you have a lot of apps on your phone and you constantly use a wide mix of those apps frequently. It's, it's damn easy to use. Just keep the icon somewhere easily accessible, tap on it to launch the keyboard, and then tap on the first letter uh, of the app that you have in mind. And it'll instantly narrow it down to the apps corresponding to your first letter. So that's it guys, those were the top 7 apps for the month of November 2017. Hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. Leave me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you know of any apps and you would want me to feature it in the next video. Thank you guys.